Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? You already know what it is. It's your boy, Daniel, and the Heezy Fo Sheezy. We're right here. I'm right here in my pad. Right here in the back of the truck. You know what it is. Nah, I'm not going fishing, but. One. Two. There's some fish juice out dripping. Um. We're about to make some ceviche, yo. Welcome to another cooking vlog. And, uh, oh, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be good, too. Uh, just check it out. All right, so let me run it down for real quick. Um, these are two stripers. I caught one, uh, I caught one yesterday. Whoa, 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 whoa. Anyways, you get the idea. Uh, I caught one in the morning and one in the evening. Um, so this is the next day I'm about to make them. So they're still fresh, never frozen. Just kept them in the Yeti overnight with ice ready to go. Um, I got all the veggies right here. I will show you guys that right now in a bit, exactly what I'm using. And, um, well, yeah, let's go. All right, guys. I got, um, so I had, out of those two fish, I ended up getting about three pounds, more or less, of some striper. I'm gonna rack in like nine lemons, my somenos, and an onion right now, and some salt. We're gonna put all, combine all this up, whoosh, pop it in the ice chest, let it get nice and cold for a few hours, stir it every now and again, maybe for like two hours, and uh, just let the orange, the orange, <laughs> let the uh, lemons uh, marinate and do their thing. And meanwhile, when you're doing that, Get yourself a nice cold beverage. I got this, the pepino michelada. Have some beers. Enjoy the afternoon. Watch a game. Well, whatever, something. Go out with the kids. Do something. For, just remember, go and keep mixing that uh, ceviche up a little bit. Every about 20, 30 minutes. Shh, shh, shh. Now, you don't have to let it cook that long, but some people let it cook for, like, hours. I mean, really, that shit cooks in, like, 30 minutes on the reel, but I like to let mine cook a little bit more. Oh, and I'm using striper because I caught it. That's my favorite fish to make ceviche with. But you can use tilapia fillets or any other kind of fish you catch. I mean, people do it with catfish. Uh, I just, if I, uh, if I don't use striper for my ceviche, then it's tilapia for me. But, um... All right, um, let me get this going and then I'll see you guys right now for the next few steps. Hosh. We will be adding two uh, cucumbers to the ceviche. Two bunches of cilantro. They're kind of small. They were three for a dollar, so I got three. So I might have to put a third one in. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I'll be putting in eight Roma tomatoes. Or tomatoes, as I like to call them. And last but not least, some serranos. Now these, like I did with that, um, when I made that uh, repollo, the ensalada de repollo for the stripers in the disco. This I will be putting to taste. So we'll be putting, oh, there's 12. I'll put like an eight or so, and then go from there. And obviously we're eating ceviche, so. These are my preferred tostadas that I like to use with tapatio. Probably add a little salt in them too. I added some salt to it when I put it with the lemon and the onion. But I would probably leave it like that and then just add salt to taste, to your pref personal preference. Oh, oh, oh. All right, guys. Cilantro's in. Want to see a little mix? Damn, look at that. just cooking nice. A little quick mix. All right. All right, all right, all right. Well, well, well. Oh, man, I missed it. Sorry, guys, I'm doing this one handed. Oh, yeah, there we go. Let's try to get the shot in. Oh, yeah, look at that color. That's only six tomatoes. I got two more. I might have to put a few more, but yeah, for sure. But just going along, little by little for you guys. Little step by step. Just not as long as the other videos, my other cooking ones. 
Learning my lesson here, guys. P.S. Those are my favorite chips to munch while I'm drinking beers. All right, guys, we're getting closer and closer. Pepino time. Oh, gosh. Like I said, my bad, guys. I'm doing this one-handed. I'm trying to fudge it up. And that's good enough. Where my spoon go? There it is. Let's get a little mix. Get that mix action. Ooh. Oh, that's a lot of ceviche, too. With only those two fish, man, I'm God, you get a lot of fucking ceviche out of it. Damn, that looks good. There we go. Let's get that in the sun. All right, guys, I just got to add the serranos next. And then it is time to eat. Gentlemen and ladies, last but not least, serranos. Right, so final tally it's about three pounds of fish oh, excuse me i did um two pepinos eight tomatoes three bunches of small cilantro eight serranos one large onion and 12 lemons so it's about four lemons to a pound because you don't want to smudge, you don't want it to soak it, soak it in like juice. Because then the lemon, it'll be too sour, you know. You'll overpower everything. So the, you just need the lemon to cook it and add a little flavor. But you don't want the lemon to overpower all the other flavors. Which is why you put the onion with the fish and lemon together. So also the, the onion will also uh, add to, uh, take the edge off of the sourness of the lemon. But guys, I'm going to add like two more serranos maybe three and we're about to munch down though all right damn that looks so good though look at all that color mm -mm -mm. all right everyone the moment of truth the moment y'all been waiting for ammo oh shit <laughs> i had a couple more serranos i didn't mix it in there you go guys Let's see if I can get oh, stay. Look at all that. Damn, I gotta mix it a little bit more. I thought I was just gonna go in and rack up a tostada and munch down for you guys. Cause we're at the end of it, guys. You guys can uh you know you don't have to add as much exactly what I did, you know, the pounds, you know, do it your way. You feel you're gonna get a uh, only a little you're only gonna make a little bit of ceviche, you don't need to make three pounds, you know. A couple of uh, a couple of tilapia fillets and you know three four tomatoes and a cucumber and get you the same result. But oh, I'm hungry. Let me set this down real quick. Hold on, guys. Let me get this angle. Let's one shot it. There we go. See my face. Tostada. See if I can get a big old guap on there. Some of that juice. Y'all see that? Okay, taste test. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, this is no salt, no uh, no tapatio, just. Uh... I don't know who that was, it's Joe Barber. They waved. What's up? Okay, so. Yeah, that's how you know it's good ceviche when really you don't need that deal or salt. I actually, but yeah, I'm a little. I do like it with that deal though. Can't lie. A couple of dizabies. Bite number two. Damn, this is so good. Mmm. Oh yeah. You guys gonna go out? Oh man. Go out, get your fishing license, catch you some stripers. I'm gonna make this. 
I'll tell you what though, these are fresh fish from yesterday. This is the best way to eat striper, eat striper and eat ceviche in my opinion with fresh fish. Oh. But that's it guys. I'm out. Thank y'all for watching. Um, I had a freaking vlog recorded this morning and when I got home, all my footage was gone. So, I have, um, so, my, the sec, I was going to vlog two, do two videos today, but it is what it is, you know what I mean? But, oh, it goes good with the beer too. Oh, so good. All right, guys, I'm out. I am going out tomorrow morning and vlogging. Hopefully I have another vlog, a fishing vlog up soon for you guys. I got another cooking one coming up too as well, probably on Friday. Cheers. Go and make you some ceviche. And uh, you guys have a good, uh, hey, good, good weekend, good weekday. I don't know when this video is going to drop, but have a good one. Ha <laughs> ha. Mmm, mmm. Man, this smacks. Before I forget, Reich, Rare or Rhyme? Raiders. Ha ha ha.